Let's explore this return on investment problem. We'll start off with what's listed right here. It says Rocky Company calculated its return on investment is 13%. Sales are now 162,000 and the amount of total operating assets is 270,000. Calculate Rocky's operating income. All right, so here's what we know. Sales are 162,000, operating assets are 270,000, and the return on investment is 13%. And remember that ROI is equal to operating income divided, divided by operating assets. So what we have to do is solve for operating income. Now, algebraically, you may want to approach it this way. Return on investment is equal to OI divided by OA, that, right? That's operating income divided by operating assets. So if we multiply both sides of the equation by OA, then the OAs on the right side cancel out, and we're left with OA times ROI equals OI. Now, if we just rearrange the terms, we have operating income is equal to operating assets times ROI. Then we plug in what we know. We don't know operating income, but we do know operating assets are 270000 and return on investment was 13%. So all we've got to do is then put in that formula right there, and we can calculate operating income. Now, how did I do that? I took the 270000 in cell C4 times the 13% in cell C5. All right, that gets us 35100 all right, next question. If Rocky Company can reduce its expenses by 20000 without impacting sales, how will that impact the company's operating income and return on investment? Okay, well, what they're telling us is they're going to reduce expenses by 20000 That means operating income will go up by 20000 since sales less expenses gets us income. And if we're only talking about operating income, um, expenses are assumed to be operating expenses. So if I bring that to light and show you how I calculated that, I took the 35,100 of the operating income we just calculated in cell C7 right here and added 20,000 to it. So now I know operating income is 55,100. Now return on investment is operating income divided by operating assets. So let me turn this to a percentage, carry it to, uh, let's carry it to two decimal places. So what I do is I take C11, that's the 55,100 sitting in cell C11, and I divide it by the 270,000 of operating assets sitting in cell C4. Okay, so I'm ta taking operating income, dividing it by operating assets, and I'm calculating the new return on investment. So as a result of cutting expenses by 20,000, we increased return on investment from 13% to 20.41%. Now, the next question says, if Rocky companies can't reduce its expenses without impacting sales, what change in the amount of operating assets is required to achieve the same result? Okay, by same result, they mean we want 20.41% return on investment, but we can't mess with expenses or sales because we can't reduce the expenses without impacting sales. So we're going to leave that alone. And uh, we already calculated that that, that was 35100 for operating income. So from there, we have to calculate what the operating assets are. Now, if you want to solve that algebraically, you can do it here. Return on investment is equal to operating income divided by operating assets. Uh, what we can do is first multiply OA on both sides of the equation and on the right side OA will cancel out since one is in the denominator one is in the denominator and one is in is a numerator right so we're left with return on investments times OA equals OI and then what we can do is divide both sides by ROI and what we're left with is OA equals OI divided by ROI. So operating assets would be equal to operating income divided by ROI. I'll solve that here in cell C18. And you see that I'm taking the value in C17, the operating income, and I'm dividing it by that new return on investment 
we hope to achieve. And when I have done that, um, I've calculated the new level of operating assets that we would have to have to achieve a 20.41% without impacting sales and operating income. Okay, so I hope you found this helpful.